have any and then game modes but into the game we got some new news this is just a quick nuketown game because we got nuketown 24 7 um it's the start of the or it's the second round i believe yeah but the new updates we got it's uh, not as huge as the first one but it does change some of the kill streaks the death machine is uh three hit kill range is increased you got dragon fire health increase which is hopefully going to make it stronger i don't know i haven't used it yet see we'll see gun spread reduced also for the dragon fire um we got the warthogs reduced missile delay load star reduced missile speed you'll see i don't know if you'll be able to tell but when, if you use load stars before in the past and you use them now it's like like the load star went back to like the reaper it just it lost its steroids kind of thing but now the reaper on steroids is just nothing it's just the normal load star but yeah it's still pretty good i'm also using the mp7 in this game but back to the other updates which is probably what you want to hear the swarm has a slower respawn delay or i guess it's increased for the respawn delay so it just takes longer to come in but earlier yesterday i was like there's nothing to freaking uh, combat against EMP grenades. There's nothing to like go against it. And then, of course, they added the. They didn't add a perk. They added two hardwired. It can. You're now unaffected by EMP. So maybe you'll start seeing some more people using that. Also, the equipment, the trophy system, increased range. SMGs with silencers have a reduced range, even more so than they did. Which is why I don't use uh, silencers on SMGs all that much. Um, there's some major uh, assault rifle change. They're basically buffing almost all of them. The All of them have reduced idle sway. Um, some other key ones is the MTAR. I used that. It, it, it was pretty good. It got an increased 3 hit kill range, so I feel like it has more power. Also, the M27 increased power, so you may want to check those two guns out. The FAL, I haven't reused it yet because I just prestiged but it says it's increased recoil for the select fire attachment and then overall and just the FAL has increased hip spread. Um, the LMG have faster ADS in and out and the executioner getting some more strength maybe You're, he, it needs a big buff but we'll see. So overall those are some of the key ones you can go check it out online if you want. So yeah and I don't have I gone into the load star yet? I think I have. You saw if you did, you would have saw how slow it was going. I don't know, you probably couldn't tell from this video, but use it yourself. Thanks guys for watching. Got a quick tip at the end is try using tactical inserts. They're pretty amazing and they're good for getting high kill games. And thanks guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. Adios.